saying hello again with Tyler Wood, a uh, resident uh, his historian here, sure. or histor historic guide at the Centre d'Histoire in Montreal, Quebec. And uh, you've been giving me a tour of the main floor already of this right. wonderful uh, city historic museum. We're on the second level now. And tell me a little bit about the level uh, here and what kind of exhibits we have. Well, um, like most museums, there's always a permanent exhibit that talks about the main subject matter. And then temporary exhibits that sort of uh, examine things in more detail. Um, so we're on the second floor. The exhibit's called Made in Montreal. Uh -huh. So we're primarily interested in objects, everyday items, made in Montreal, or are they? That's sort of the theme. Uh -huh. Sometimes we think they're local and they're not. Yes. Um, so we'll head our way there, but before that we're going to just jump on this uh, tramway uh -huh. that's been here since the museum's been open. And is it a real tramway? Well, no. Oh, you guys built not it? Not quite. Okay. Uh, for that you have to go to the railway museum. Yes. Um, on the south shore. But it's something that's become a bit of a classic, but does give you the impression. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually I'm getting dizzy just looking at it. Oh dear. Yeah, this is great. So the landscape is passing by outside. And you get an idea of Montreal, probably in the 20s, 30s, 40s. Mm -hmm. You can see some of these streetcars yeah. and the rails in the streets. They were uh, all uh, put away in 1959. That's mm -hmm. the last mm -hmm. tramway roll. So no more streetcar. So we may get them back. Okay, it's really? Having okay. streetcars back in Montreal. Okay, yeah. cool. Um, so this is fun. Yep. And we can start to see the exhibits here. Mm -hmm. um, names like Morgan's, Simpsons, mm -hmm. uh, maybe Family Lex is well, less well known. But mm -hmm. um, what is Morgan's? Morgan's uh, was a department store. Oh, really? Founded by Mr. Morgan, uh -huh. Scottish, okay. to Montreal, and uh, just like Eaton's, uh, like. Um, when I think of other ones, Ogilvy's, Ogilvy's is still mm -hmm. in Montreal. A lot of these big department stores, these first department stores were started in Montreal. Okay. So Morgan's was, uh, I think, uh, bought out by the Bay uh -huh. in the 60s and okay. they changed the name at that point. Okay. But uh, this is uh, this is what's interesting, it's a bit of a nostalgia fest. Mm -hmm. We do have a lot of people um, who come in and uh, can identify with things that they've seen. Yeah. Uh, we like to talk about the everyday things as much as we can cover mm -hmm. big events. Uh, sometimes it's the little things, little moments that other museums might not have the time to uh, mention. Exactly. So we have quite a lovely uh, collection. This is all our own stuff. It's mm -hmm. not on loan from anywhere. Just everyday items. So, you yeah. know, Eaton's Sunshine Eggs. Sunshine Eggs, uh, yeah. Eaton's, of course, uh, we had uh, Eaton's here. Uh, Five Roses, the mm -hmm. flower company. The flower company, the company yeah. The sign is still here. Big building in the, in the harbor area, yeah, that has the sign. Um, we had this supermarket team, I remember from when I was a kid, mm -hmm. Steinberg. Steinberg. Is it still around? It wasn't, no, it ended about 20 years ago. Oh, really? Okay. That, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but that's just, it's just, a lot of people say, oh, I remember this. I know. And the, the other element to it is where mm -hmm. you start to say, well, hold on, is this... Is this all made in Montreal? Like this can yeah. that celebrates the last time the Canadians uh, won the Stanley Cup. Oh, Cup. really? Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, it was probably bottled and made in uh, the United States. Mm -hmm, for sure, yeah. Um, some of the things that were made for, for Expo, mm -hmm. uh, Expo 67, yep. well, some were made here, some were made in Japan. Oh, in Japan? Or China. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, that makes sense. Just like I think the Vancouver Olympic mittens, they were made in China, right? I heard something like that, yeah, yeah some yeah. people didn't like that so much. That's so. right. Yeah. So this is actually very fun. Uh -huh. um, you get a real sense. Yeah, these are places where you can guess, you know, Working if Germany. these were made in Montreal or not. And that's, oh, oh, yes, I see. it was. You can actually guess. Yes. Okay, so you make it fun for people to oh, actually, yeah. 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 And this is a great exhibit to come see with, you know, your grandparents exactly. or your grandchildren, depending on that's who you right. are. Um, because we've noticed, you know, people who just they see the object and they're reminded of something they didn't even knew they remembered. Yeah, yeah. And it's a great way to sort of transmit this little everyday stories. Exactly. To, uh, no, that's wonderful. Okay. Now, where are we going to head now, Tyler? Well, we're going to head to the third floor mm -hmm. uh, to see another temporary exhibit. Um, a little, maybe a little more cutting edge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, called uh, Montréal Modern, uh -huh. Montreal. Great. Looking forward to it. <laughs>